Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the family. As you guys can see from the title of this video, this is like very, very different from the content that I usually post. And some of you might be like, what, she's a stripper? But yes, I have been a stripper for about a year now and I finally think I'm ready to come out about it because honestly, it's been like, my little secret you know my little double life I've been living for like a year like I don't really post it on my regular social media or anything like that I'm like you know what today is the day the time is now so yes let's get into this video so for most of you who clicked on this video you obviously want to get some um, information on how to become a stripper because I know when I first started dancing like I did not know like really where to start that much I did have friends that dance too so it was like I got to ask like a little bit of questions from them but for the most part once I got in there you know I was on my own so it was like YouTube was like my best friend your dancer's license is like the first thing you need to become um, a dancer in most states some states I know that you don't really need a license at all in my state Arizona you do need a license so I had to go and get that you could look it up for your state look up you know dancers license wherever you're at they should have like information on how to get it if you even need it in your state but for me I just went to the City Hall and then um, it was easy like I called and made an appointment Went to my appointment, I got, I filled out information, took a cute pic. Actually, my pic was not cute, but <laughs> I took a picture and then I got my dancer's license that day. So it's really easy um, once you do it. Now it's like crazy because I'm trying to renew my license out here. And it's like two months out for appointments. So I'm like, dang, like there's a lot of freaking dancers and like I know that it's, on the rise like there's new people like at my club all the time so step two is your dancer name when I got my dancer's license on the paper I filled out which it usually is like that it will say like um, to put your names down so I would come up with like three or four names to come up with that you really like because some clubs that you go to you'll go and say if you only have one name then you have that name and somebody else take that name you're gonna be like okay shoot like what's my name and you're gonna have to think like on the spot for a name because I know that's what happened to me I went on my first day and I wanted my name to be like Malia or something like that and there's another girl with like a similar name so that couldn't be my name and I remember I was just like what is my name and I could not think I couldn't even think about the names that I wrote on my on my little paper for getting my dance license because I was so set on one name so definitely come up with multiple names that you need because you never know um, if girls have your name the third thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go and buy an outfit and some shoes you don't have to buy like super expensive outfit and super expensive shoes at all I'm gonna enter a picture right here of the shoes that I got but these boots are just like so easy and keep your ankle in place and for outfit wise um, what I would recommend is getting an outfit that you feel very comfortable in and that goes with your body shape because sometimes I see like girls in different outfits that are new and you know they see the outfits that other people wear and but then they don't have like the body type for that outfit which when you're a dancer stripper whatever you are judged off of the way you look you know what I'm saying so it's kind of like you want to be put together you don't obviously you don't have to be the smallest girl in the world because I am not the smallest girl you do not you can be plus size and still be a dancer I met dancers of like every size I met a dancer like from really super tiny super skinny like no ass no boobs um, I met dancers that are plus size so it really doesn't matter what size you are um, what I would recommend like me I did have like a little pouch at the bottom so I like to wear a lot of like one pieces because I feel like it just like sucks me in right there and you can't really see the pouch as much yes yeah, so definitely get an outfit that 
goes with your body type and that you feel very comfortable in another thing that i will say when you get your shoes is to like practice in them a little bit walk around for a while just like keep them on with you while you're just walking around the house so you can get used to walking in them it is an adjust an adjustment at first when you start wearing your heels and then boom you get confident like me i remember i was like felt super confident my first day walking in I was like, okay, like, I got this. <laughs> Boom, five seconds. I'm freaking falling. My ankle's breaking. So be careful and try on your shoes and get comfortable in them. Okay. And then after you buy your outfit and your set, you're like, okay, I'm about to be going to the club. You need to find a club that you feel like would best fit you. And there's, like, different types of clubs. There are, like, more gentlemen's type of clubs. And then there's, like, urban clubs. And um, the club I dance at, it's definitely more urban, which I like. I like urban clubs more. Urban clubs are more of like the club you go to and they're just like throwing money in the air. You know, there's like section. Those are the clubs that, um, I personally like more. Gentlemen's clubs are good too. I have friends that work at Gentlemen's Club and like that better. And I feel like Gentlemen's Club is more like private room private dances you know type of thing and usually at more of the gentlemen's club I see a lot more of smaller girls I mean obviously not always but at the gentlemen's club I usually do see like smaller girls and I feel like urban clubs they do have more um, thicker girls y'all are shaking a little bit and then there's, there's some racks throwing like that's what I like okay so yeah, find a club that you think you would like. You could do this a few different ways. Um, you could look at different clubs, search up clubs in your area near you, depending on where you're trying to work out. If you don't want to see too many people you know, maybe go a little bit further out, you know? But um, you could look them up on Instagram, look up clubs on Instagram, see if they have you know pages, see if they have any information of when they're hiring. You know, you could kind of see the girls on Instagram. You could even DM them. The club I'm working at now, I did DM them. And then they told me when to come in. You could call, ask them, you know, for information. Ask them when they're hiring, you know, when they need dancers. And then another thing you could also do, you could go into the club that you are thinking about as a customer. And go fill out the vibes, get a drink or so. And you could kind of see what you're getting into. The last way that I know people get hired at clubs is some clubs offer like an amateur night contest. You know, the girl who win gets hired to the club. So yeah, you could call the club and see if they have anything like that. Last but not least, when you find a club that you really like and they tell you when to come in for audition, you find out that information. Be prepared when you walk in because usually when they have you audition, if you get hired, you get to work that night. So I would recommend bring a bag a bag that could fit your you know your shoes in and your clothes to change out a little money bag and then maybe like another outfit and when you show up for your audition you're gonna make sure you got your nails done hair done everything did that yeah, you're gonna want to make a great first impression you know you're gonna want to feel yourself just get bomb just get real sexy you want to look at the mirror and be like okay I am that girl okay I am that girl and I am a stripper and I got this in the bag, okay? Stay confident, smile, and you will do good. Do not worry about anything. Leave all that anxiety out the door because you're you're new, it's your first day. Nobody's gonna expect you to be perfect, okay? I'm gonna probably do another video next on how to prepare for your auditions and everything to pack in your bag in the next video. I hope you guys like this series on my channel that I'm starting and I hope that I help a lot of you guys out because I know it's really like nerve-wracking and you have a lot of questions when you first start but I'm gonna be here to help you just don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and let me know if I helped you and let me know how you did at your auditions okay bye